Hello, and welcome. This is episode, I think, 8 in the Blender series. And uh, this episode, I was showing you and teaching you about um, invisible objects and, like, object grouping. Um, so often when you when you open uh, Blender files, this is the overhead panel, um, you often see kind of, if you look in the collection over here, you'll see this and then a drop down menu of all the objects associated with it. All this is doing, this is this what well, this is called an empty object. So this is, this is an empty object. You can add those in. Go to add, then you go down to empty. You can add any kind of empty object. And what empty objects are, or what the purpose of them, the purpose of them is to basically group objects together um, in your scene, but not group them together as in make them all one object, but kind of relate them all together. So these are all anti-ice, but they're all still separate objects, but they're kind of grouped under this anti-ice empty object, which kind of, it, it's more for organizing your collection over here. So if I wanted to say, look at all the anti-ice buttons, I can say, okay, here they all are, you know, it is kind of, instead of having all your objects kind of laid out, you can organize them. That's all this is doing. And you'll, you'll see this a lot in like, um, I think nav, the nav an object display does it. I think the CDU display does it. Some other displays do it. And it, it's nice for when you just kind of want to quickly look at something you can you can see other objects associated with that, or, or you can click down here, it really doesn't matter. Um, but it is nice to have that organization. So that's what I'm gonna show you how to do today. So let's maybe, um, we can do pass signs. That's a pretty easy one. Only two things to organize here. So we can go into, or we can do, let's do this. This has a bit more, the pressurization sub panel. So first things first, we want to go make sure you're an object. Make sure you're in object mode. Go to add. Go to empty. And I don't really, think, I don't think it matters, but I always do plain axis. And these empty objects aren't going to show up in flight gear. They're just, they're just here for, they're just here in Blender. They're just here for organization. You can scale it. I like to scale it down to just, just really make it invisible. And we can rename it. Uh, what are we? What are we doing? Pressurization. Pressurization. And let's see where that is. Right here. And so we need to find this one. On animate. On. One. Switch. So on animate on. One and two. On animate switch one and two. And then knob. Okay, on animate one and two. So you can select multiple. If you click it and then you press control and click again, you can select multiple um, objects over here. You could also select, you, if you shift, you can select like a range of objects. And then we're selecting switches one and two. And then we have knob I think knob one if I'm not mistaken we'll just drag these down and then you want to push uh, hold on shift and it says drop to set parent and then you let go and here you go Type. oh that's knob six okay so I messed up so if you accidentally put an object in here that doesn't belong you can select it, drag it, and then uh, you press shift, and then uh, left bracket, alt, and then let go of the mouse. And there you go. So I can do that again for you. Let me, if I accidentally drag this in here, I can select it, drag it over here, don't let go, press shift, hold on shift, left bracket, alt, and then let go, and you should be good. 
Um, so we're looking for what knob six. I'm gonna just drag. Whoops, drag this down. And press shift, and there you go. That's that's nice. It really compresses stuff. And let's say I want to look at all the uh, look at all the pressurization stuff. I can oh, okay look. That's all the pressurization knobs and switches. I think another reason for empty objects is that uh, animators, it's easy for animators to, um, you can also, if you, if you scale this object, I believe that it'll also scale all the other objects. Um, but if you scale an individual object under the object group, it won't affect all the others. So I think from an anim animator uh, standpoint, if you want to animate everything at once or transition everything at once or rotate everything at once, you want to, you want to have empty objects. Um, yeah, but we won't be doing any of that. That's just a little fun fact for you. Um, but yeah, that's it. Um, maybe you should try this with the with the light sub panel. You should try it with the light sub panel and see how you do. Um, yeah, this is it. I'll see you in the next video.